Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here I talk about all things luxury and beautiful and how to purchase these mindfully. I also talk about my own analysis of what's happening in the luxury and fashion world. Um, so if this is something of interest, please consider subscribing and I hope you enjoy this video. And for those of you who are returned um, viewers, uh, thank you very much for your support. If you do enjoy these contents, please consider uh, pressing the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps with my channel. Now today I want to bring to you um, a recent uh, development or shall I say improvement um, of the Dior uh, beauty website that has happened on uh, in the Australia beauty website but perhaps this has wider implications worldwide as I have noticed um, you know some changes there um, so let's go um, take a look at what the new changes are and why I am making a video about it as really you know website goes through development upgrades uh, so to speak all the time what's the fuss about um, well we shall see now with Dior's website um, I'm mainly focusing on the fragrance and beauty part because that's where I will have been purchasing um, of recent trying their makeup product um, so I'm more familiar with that website uh, perhaps there were changes to the fashion and accessory side as well but um, because I haven't made any purchases it's there so I'm not too familiar with that now as soon as you press the fragrance and beauty session you will see that there's a notice here that they've recently updated the Dior Beauty Online um, boutique session um, and you've been requested to reset your password so that you can um, access your profile again. Now I have to say since the upgrade there is definitely an improvement in the usability uh, in terms of um, accessing your Dior Beauty Rewards program easy yeah, I think there were um, some glitches at times that it's just kind of, you know, doesn't make the login process that easily. So definitely there's an improvement on, um, you know, sort of in, in, in that aspect. Um, but what's interesting is that I have discovered that they, along with the upgrade, they have perhaps downgraded the function or closed off a function that to me is actually a very important part of uh, purchasing online and um, I will show you. So here I've just randomly uh, clicked on the product um, and what's missing? Well, I've noticed that what's missing is the customer review session. Um, that used to just sit right here that allow you to see you know comments for uh, from buyers who've purchased the product you know giving a you know five star rating or you know a system um, you know grading the product whether it was a good buy or not um, and yeah it's it's completely gone it's quite interesting um, because certainly um, when I haven't purchased any sort of, you know, um, Dior product previously, I have actually found the review session quite, um, I guess, useful uh, for me to decide whether I would make the purchase um, from the online system or not uh, without actually going into the store to try the product. Um, so you can see, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's completely, that function is completely gone. Um, and what's interesting is um, if I change the region, I've played around this already a little bit, so I will just show you what I meant pre that you know there was a previous um, section Ooh. oh did they just turn this off as well that's interesting um, because guys just like five minutes ago 
I was actually able to access. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe it's still. Maybe it's still.、Uh, if we're lucky, we will still be able to access it. There we go. Maybe they're trying to rebuild this website as well. I don't know. Just speculations and my opinions for entertainment purposes.、Um, so, see how here. If you scroll down, so I've just picked a product. You can see here the comments、uh, from customers who've purchased the item.、Um, you know, giving it a five star ra rating.、Um, you know, writing comments and even ability to、um, post. Um, pictures. I mean, you can see here that some of them are actually posted on different websites, and the data is just pulled in、um, into Dior's website. So this is the product that I was interested in before,、um, you know, without ever having smelt all of different.、Um, Dior's、uh, perfume is here for Gris Dior, which I quite liked、uh, when I got the sample.、Um, so, oh, very interesting. Well, hang on. Oh, yes, you can do this. Yeah, so you can see here, you know, there's,、um, you know, you can sort the.、Um, Sort of you know grading、uh, or the the reviews according to whether is you know that got the highest or the lowest rating. You can see he originally posted on Dior dot com. So yeah, you can.、Um, so this is proof. This is proof that previously you can actually、uh, write comments.、Um, Or, or you know, or maybe it was like emailed to you, and you you know, I guess fill in the survey, and it automatically sort of published the、um, survey results onto the website.、Um, but yeah, and、no, I see he would not recommend, not worth it.、Um, and I, I remembered you know when I was looking at purchasing these in the Australian website. Um, there weren't so many comments. I guess it's because there's less clientele, I suppose, in Australia, and、um, so there were a few.、Uh, there were, I think, I remember there were like only three comments, and they were all like bad comments about about this set.、Um, I don't, you know, I guess perfume and fragrances are very personal, but I guess those comments、uh, were really、um, about the. About the bottles,、um, not I, I guess yeah, there were comments about the bottle sizes, but I guess you know it's something that they declare,、um, you know how how much volume you get in you know in in the, these miniature bottles. So I guess you know if you don't read what's what's the volume and purchase it well, you know the onus is probably on the customer of not reading. You know the the information、uh, properly before purchasing,、um, but what what you know the comments the 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 comments that made me、um, sort of stopped purchasing until I kind of get a chance to look in the boutique physically myself first. Um, is that、um, people were saying the bottles were quite hard to use? That it's not a spray bottle; it's just, you know, an open bottle where you just have to pour the product out. And you know, some、um, I think one of the customer who left a comment was saying how you know it got very messy、um, for them, and it's just you know very precious, expensive liquid、uh, being wasted away as a result of the you know the The mechanism of the bottle,、um, so that's yeah no. So I do find the reviews useful when I'm purchasing something blindly online, so to speak.、Um, so it is interesting that they have、um, you know gotten rid of this type of function、uh, of the website. Is it an upgrade? I guess. It could be an upgrade from Dior's perspective that they don't need to, I guess, show customers、um, negative reviews.、Um, is it just simply, you know, a, a function that hasn't built in the new website?
template yet that they're gonna sort of work on I don't know again you know these are all not based on truths or facts they are just my opinions um, for entertainment purposes um, or is it you know that luxury brands gotten used to not hearing negative reviews or not wanting to hear about negative um, comments or reviews about you know their their products um, do they simply just not want to publicize these and internally make improvements according to you know what customers are feeding back to them via email surveys or whatnot they just don't want to showcase these comments as it might not aesthetically look very nice on a luxury brand website to have single star only for some of their products um, because they're really not worth their price I don't know um, again these are all just my opinions they are not truths or facts um, they're just really my opinions for entertainment uh, purposes and to I guess generate a bit more of a conversation uh, about what some of these brands are doing what do you guys think uh, have you guys noticed the same uh, what's happening in your country have you ever have you always had you know reviews published on your country's uh, Dior's website um, or have you also experienced the same where previously the website shows you know the the ratings by customers and now no longer visible I mean certainly is not the only brand that doesn't show reviews um, on their website I mean Chanel for example and Hermes they don't show these information I mean you know is, is this just part of the the trend the aesthetic the I guess the elegance of online luxury shopping that it's, it's not elegant to show negative comments uh, or reviews by previous customers it's, it's just not the thing um, or are we at the point where really the brands are really trying to maximize uh, people purchasing or the you know the chances of people purchasing their overpriced items um, so it's, it, and I mean you know certainly I didn't purchase I didn't make the purchase that day because I saw a negative rating um, so yeah it, it does have its impact and influence um, are they so are they you know so lacking confidence in their products that they feel they're gonna not get very positive reviews um, by customers who've purchased those um, products so they decided to sort of you know not show the comments uh, the, the ratings on the website I don't know but um, yeah interested to hear your thoughts much appreciated if you like the video to give it a thumbs up um, and it means the world to me to see my subscriber uh, grow for this channel please leave a comment I hope to see you next time and uh, you all take care bye